Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking liquid text effect using Adobe After Effects. So anyways, guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have to do here is we have to create a new composition. 1920 by 1080 pixels will be fine. 30 FPS at a duration of about 10 to 15 seconds. Press OK. Once you have that, then the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a text layer. So I'm just going to write my word in here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find this uh, button over here. Hold command, double click, and that will move that anchor point to the middle. I'm just going to align it to the center of my composition. The font that I'm using is Mission Gothic Black, um, and I'm just using all caps. So once you've got that, the next thing that we need to do is we need to animate that slightly. So I'm just going to open up uh, this setting over here, go to animate and then go to animate opacity. I'm just going to drop the opacity down to 0% and then I'm going to open up the range selector and I'm going to animate the offset. So I'm going to go to about say one and a half seconds. And I'm going to increase that to about 100%. So now the text just comes in like that so that looks pretty cool but what i'm going to do is if i go down to the advanced settings and turn randomize on and just increase the random seed now you've got a bit more of a randomish text effect there so that looks pretty cool the last effect that we're going to do in here is a simple scale in animation so i'm going to hit that stopwatch for scale so i'm going to press s for scale and then move to the end of the composition and then just change it to about 120 or 125 or so so the text is constantly moving so that looks pretty cool so now what we need to do is we need to pre-compose that so i'm just going to call that uh, text make sure you move all the attributes uh, into that new pre-comp and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new adjustment layer and this time i'm going to search for the effect called mr mercury and you can see what's happening here that's being applied to that text layer looks pretty cool but we are going to change a few things so i'm going to change the radius x to about zero i'm going to change the radius y to 1000 I'm going to change the birth rate to 100. I'm going to change the gravity to 0.5. And if you've done that correctly, now you're going to have a nice kind of revealing animation that reveals that text. Then it still goes a bit crazy over here. So what we need to do is we need to animate this uh, death size. So I'm just going to hit that stopwatch, move to about two seconds and then just increase that to about five. So now when you scrub through that, you can see the animation is actually working pretty good and the timing is all right. But if you need to change the timing, you can always go back in here, press U and then move this around. But I think I'm gonna leave it like that. Um, Cause yeah, I think that looks pretty nice. So the next thing that we need to do is I'm just going to pre-compose those. So I'm just gonna go to layout pre-compose and I'm just going to call that um, back. So that's going to be my back color. There's going to be a middle color and then there's going to be a foreground color. So I'll have back, middle and front. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for an effect in here. I'll put some fill on here to change the color. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to color hunt. So I'm just going to use, um, maybe I'll use this one here and I'll just this uh, in here and then another effect is going to be fast box blur and I'm just gonna up that to about three just to give it a little bit of uh, blur on there so now I'm gonna duplicate that again I'm just gonna rename it all right so this is gonna be uh, middle and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna change that color to the darker orange and I'll leave the, the blur the same. And then what I need to do is I need to duplicate that again. And I'm just going to put that as front. And this time there's not going to be any blur. And we will uh, change that to white. So now I've got all three layers going off at the same time, which is not that good. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom in here. And I'm just going to move forward uh, and separate these uh, by about two frames. And now you'll have you'll see all the colors in there and I think that looks pretty cool. So now we just need to dress it up a little bit better. So on the back layer, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add some glow on there. 
and I'm going to change up a few settings. So I'm going to change the threshold to 85. I'm going to change the radius to about 300. Now we've got this nice kind of glow that is happening in there. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to animate the glow intensity. So I'm going to start this probably about or, uh, one second and I'm going to hit that stopwatch for glow intensity. Go to about two seconds and then just drag that back down to zero. So now we've got that nice glow as it's all coming together and then it goes back and sits down at that point there. So I'm just gonna copy that glow effect and then paste it into the middle one over here. But I'm just going to change the glow radius to about let's say 150. And I'm just going to play around with the glow intensity options as well. So I'm gonna have it do kind of the same thing. So from about one second to about two seconds. And so now you've got that cool kind of text reveal. And I think that looks pretty cool. So now that we got that out of the way, the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a new solid. And I'm just gonna call this uh, BG and I'm just gonna put that right at the bottom. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for the effect called gradient ramp and I'm gonna go back to color hunt and I'm gonna use this dark color and just replace the white over here. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change it to a radial ramp. I'm gonna move that first point to the middle and then I'm gonna move this point to somewhere around there and I'm gonna hit swap colors. Now I've got that cool, nice uh, vignette thing happening there and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add some other adjustment layers in here so if i make another adjustment layer and if i add some curves so now if i go through and if i just you know create a small s bend you know something like that now it makes it a little bit more darker I think that looks pretty cool. And then finally, the last effect that we can add in here is some noise. So if I just go and find some noise, bump that up to about 10 cent. Now we've got pretty cool effect happening there. So yeah, so that's about it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something and I will see you guys in the next video.